Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll see how to add mixed numbers. All right, so let me take two mixed numbers, say one and two third and two and a half. And what I want to do with these two mixed numbers is I want to add them. Okay, so I add one and two third to two and a half. All right, so let's, uh, as usual, make our pizzas. So I have one pizza here and let me copy this and paste it here. So I have one set of pizzas. And on this set of pizzas, what I'm gonna do is represent this fraction, which is one and two third, okay? Now, every mixed number, as you know, has got two parts, a whole number part and a fractional part. So on these two pizzas, we're gonna represent the whole number part as well as the fractional part. So the number is one and two thirds. The whole number is one, which means that we have one whole pizza. So we color that whole pizza over here. So this red pizza, let's say pepperoni pizza, is this one whole number over here. And this fraction two upon three or two third means if we have one whole pizza and we cut it up into three slices, then two of those slices, okay, two slices of the pepperoni pizza is two third of the pizza. So together, these red colored parts are equal to the mixed number one and two third. Okay, so that's one and two third. Now, how about two and a half? So what we do is we make more copies of the pizza. So we have one more pizza, we have another pizza. So these two pizzas together, let's say maybe yellow, color them yellow. So these two yellow cheese pizzas is this whole number part over here, which is two, all right? So these two pizzas together represent this whole number part two. Now how about half? So what we do is we take one more pizza and we represent half on it. Now how do you represent half? Well, what you do is you have to represent one upon two on this pizza. So you cut up this pizza into two slices because you know the denominator is two so you cut up the pizza into two slices then one of those slices is half or one upon two so together one whole pizza two whole pizzas and a half of a whole pizza so two plus half is two and a half and that's the second mixed number over here all right so what we have now is one and two third of the pepperoni pizza and two and a half of the cheese pizzas. And what we want to do is we want to add up the pepperoni pizzas to the cheese pizzas and see how many pizzas we have in total, okay? Now, how can you add whole pizzas to sliced pizzas? It's, it's a little confusing, right? Because you have a couple of whole pizzas and you have a couple of sliced pizzas. So how about we just slice up everything, okay? So what we do is we cut up the whole pizzas also into slices. So let me take these pepperoni pizzas first okay so I take these pepperoni pizzas first and I cut them up okay now how many slices should I cut up the whole pepperoni pizza into well since the other pepperoni pizza is cut up into three slices I cut up this whole pizza as well into three slices so I cut up this guy over here into three slices okay so what I have now well I have one two three four and five slices okay so now I have five pepperoni pizza slices when each of the pizza or each of the pepperoni pizza is cut into three slices so actually what we had in the beginning was these two numbers one and two third and two and a half and we were trying to add up these two okay now since we cannot add whole numbers and fractional numbers to each other what we do is we convert everything to fraction okay so we change this number one and two third to a fraction and when you say fraction what that means is you cut up the whole pizza also into slices so what you have now is five slices okay five slices when each of the pizzas is cut into three slices so your fraction becomes five upon three all right so that's your mix number one and two third which is changed to the improper fraction five upon three now how about two and a half well the same way that you cut up the pepperoni pizza you cut up also the cheese pizzas so what you do is you take all these cheese pizzas you put them here and you slice them up now how many slices should we cut up the cheese pizzas into well into two slices each because the last pizza or the last cheese pizza is also cut up into two slices that's why two slices all right now let's count how many cheese pizza slices we've got we've got one two three four and five so we also have five slices of the cheese pizza so let's put that here we have 
five slices of cheese pizza when each of the cheese pizzas is cut into two slices. So the fraction is five upon two. So you have five slices of pepperoni pizza and you have five slices of cheese pizza. But one slice of pepperoni pizza is not the same size as one slice of cheese pizza. See, if you notice here, what you have is this one pepperoni pizza slice, okay, that I'm uh, shading in blue, okay. This guy has a different size than this guy over here, this yellow or cheese pizza slice, okay. This one that I'm shading in green. So the blue slice is not the same size as the green slice. So you cannot add them uh, in the state that they are. If you want to add them, what you must first do is you must change the size of the slices so they have the same size, okay? So one pepperoni pizza slice should be of the same size as one cheese pizza slice if you want to add up the two. So let's uh, cut them up so they have the same size. Now on the fraction, what that means is these two fractions have different denominators, okay? When you say that the pizza slices are of different size, what you're actually saying is these denominators, 3 and 2, are different. So what you must first do if you want to add up these two fractions is you must first change these two denominators so they have the common denominator, okay? These two fractions, they have the common denominator. Now the way to find out the common denominator is using LCM or least common multiple. I did that in a previous video. If if you don't already know how to find out LCM or least common multiple, then uh, why don't you go ahead and watch that video? And if you already know how to find out LCM, then you know that the LCM or least common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So the 6 tells you that you have to cut up these pizzas, each of these pizzas into 6 slices. So how about we copy these pizzas and we paste them here and then we cut them up into 6 slices, okay? So I Cut up the first pizza into six slices. Then I also cut up the second pizza into six slices. Then what I do is I copy the cheese pizzas and I paste them here and I cut them as well into six slices each. So I cut up these pizzas also into six slices, each of them, all right? Now, how many pepperoni pizza slices do we have now? Well, we've got, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have ten pepperoni pizza slices when each of the pepperoni pizzas is cut into six slices. So the fraction is ten upon six. And let's count the cheese pizza slices. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. So we have 15 cheese pizza slices. When each of the cheese pizzas is cut into six slices, the fraction is 15 upon six. So what we did was we changed five upon three to 10 upon six, and we changed five upon two to its equivalent 15 upon six, okay? Using the least common multiple or LCM. Now we have these two fractions and these two fractions have the same common denominator, which is six. So it becomes fairly easy to add up these two fractions. What we do is we add these 10 slices on the pepperoni pizza to these 15 slices on the cheese pizza. So 10 plus 15 is equal to 25. So 25 slices in all when each of the pizzas is cut into six slices. So we have 25 upon six. So, so far what you have is these two mixed numbers, one and two third and two and a half when added give you 25 slices when each of the pizza is cut into six slices. So you have 25 upon six. But what we want is this number over here, 25 upon six in the mixed number format because the original numbers that were given to you were also in mixed numbers. One and two third and two and a half are in mixed number format. So you must change this answer 25 upon six to the mixed number format, okay? Now when you say mixed numbers, what you're saying is you want to find out how many whole pizzas there are and how many leftover slices there are, okay? So let's uh, count how many whole pizzas we've got, okay? So we've got one whole pizza, two whole pizzas and three whole pizzas. And then we have four slices of the pepperoni pizza and three slices of the cheese pizza. 
Now, if you go back to the pepperoni pizza, you see that there are two empty places over here where you could fit two cheese pizza slices. So how about we go ahead and remove these two cheese pizza slices from here and put them into these empty slots over here, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm erasing this slice from here, these two slices from here, and I'm filling up into the empty slots over here. So now I have another whole pizza. So in all, how many whole pizzas do I have now? I have one, two, three, and four whole pizzas, and I have a fractional pizza. I have one slice, okay? So I have four whole pizzas, okay? So I've got four whole pizzas plus one slice. One slice out of the six slices that the pizza is cut into. So I have four plus one upon six. And we know that four plus one upon six is actually equal to four and one sixth in the mixed number format. So the two numbers, one and two third and two and a half when added give you four and one six. Okay, now let's go back and take a look at the steps that we used. Okay, what we had was these two mixed numbers, one and two third and two and a half. Now, since we wanted to add up these two, and because they were whole numbers and fractions and stuff, what we did was we changed everything to fraction, okay? We cut up everything. We cut up the whole pizzas as well. And what we got was 5 upon 3 from the first number and 5 upon 2 from the second number, okay? Then we saw that the two pizzas had different sized slices. The pepperoni slice was smaller than the cheese slice. So what we did was we cut up the two pizzas so that one pepperoni pizza slice was the same size as one cheese pizza slice. See over here, the pepperoni pizza slice is the same size as the cheese pizza slice, this one over here, okay? So since everything was the same size, we could add up all the slices. So we changed the two unlike fractions, 5 upon 3 and 5 upon 2, to like fractions 10 upon 6 and 15 upon 6 and then we added them up which gave us 25 upon 6 the improper fraction 25 upon 6 but then in the end we also wanted to change 25 upon 6 which was an improper fraction to a mixed number because the original numbers were mixed numbers so we counted the whole pizzas and the fractional part and what we got was 4 and 1 sixth. All right, that's that about addition of mixed numbers. I hope you got what I taught and I hope that now you'll go and do some practice exercises so you don't forget the concept. All right, for practice exercises and to see how good you're getting at math, go to www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.